This is Code.org, and this is our fun emoji app thingamabobber that we have going on so far. All right, let's see what we're doing now. The Create Mode tab, let me pull this down, is one of the three tab, is one of the three that appears at the bottom of the app and guides the user into emoji creation mode of the app. Mm. Oh, interesting. Oh, it disappeared on me. Okay, let's quickly examine these tabs. Gallery, Create, Add, okay. Oh, so is this gallery? I don't even know. Nope, this is create. Ah, oh, gallery only appears if they favorited. Oh, and the favorite. Oh, <laughs> okay, so let me try this out. Cool, I'm going to favorite gallery. Oh, not working yet, but cool. Okay, so what are we doing? Create the new feature described above in the create mode description. Find the randomized function and write code that will accomplish this. Use set number, so randomize value. Randomize values, great. And write the code that will accomplish this. Ah, so you set number command to set the value. So we're gonna set the values of these sliders. So here they are. Notice that they actually have a value, 50 to start. And so they want us to randomize the colors. Cool, okay. So here we are. This function sets our color values and the values of I index. Oh, and we're gonna randomize those, okay. Use set number to change the value of R, G, B to a number between. And they give us a bit of a rough idea of an approach here, which is perfect. What does this do? We have our I index variable. It already exists. That's why var is not in front of it. We're just giving it a new value. Its new value is going to be equal to a random number between zero, the length of the list minus one. Minus one's important. It's how we avoid errors. Because keep in mind, indexes start at uh, zero and they go all the way up to the length of the list minus one, right? So if there's a hundred items in the list, the first item in the list is number one, but the index of the first item is zero and the index of the last item is 99. All right. Cool. So we need to randomize that. Alrighty. Let me grab some variables. And then we need I index, uh, mouth index, extra index. And then we're going to do zero. And then we need to do the length of each list. Now our lists are the same length, but just in case I'm going to do uh, it based on the name of the list. So technically, since all of our lists are going to be the same size, I know they're the same size because if we look at the table, each column has the same amount of data. So technically, if I did uh, I list dot length minus one for all of these, that's technically right, but it's not great practice in terms of uh, And I am apparently doing it anyways, which is not what I want to do. Great. Um, so that's good. Those should all work. Let me make sure this doesn't throw any errors and it doesn't. Cool. Um, and now use set number to change the value of the R color, uh, color slider G, color slider B. Oh, okay. And they already gave us an example here. So I'm going to be a bit cheap, you could say. Now the colors for RGB scale are 0 to 255. So we should use the, the example here. And I'm just going to honestly do a control C, control V or a copy and paste. Command C, Command B on a Mac, because it's essentially the same. So I'm going to set the color to, yep, of G and RGB. Great. Let me go ahead and test this. Let me hit. Ah, so when we go to create mode, it's going to randomize now. I see. So each time I click create, it thinks we're going to the page again and it's going to randomize it. So that's all looking good. Okay. Now we've got that one knocked out. Oh, oh, okay. That's what we have to cover. So let's talk about what actually is happening then here code wise. So upon going to create first things we did, The first thing we did is we wanted, just wanted to make sure, the first thing we did is we wanted to randomize the I index, mouth index, and extra index. What does that do? Why do we care? Well, pay attention as to when this runs. And this is where it gets confusing, so don't get too confused. You can get a little confused because it's confusing. But let's take a look at right here. So display create mode. When does display create mode run? I'm gonna go to text mode just so I can jump around this easier. So display create mode runs on the event that the create button is clicked. 
And it also appears to run automatically when the run button is clicked. So when that is clicked, what happens? Well, when that is clicked, randomized values is executed. That's the method we just wrote. I'm hopping around right here. Oh, setup is run when the fun ah, that makes sense. Setup is run when we click start. It's executed here. There we go. What does setup do? Setup randomizes the values. It sets colors, updates the emoji. These are all methods. Now let's look at our randomized method, values method. This is the one we just wrote. What does it do? It changes eye index, mouth index, and extra index. Now, what are those numbers? Well, if we go back down to where this was getting run here, or if we click on the button later on, on the event that we, on the event, or if we click the create button later on, remember this button, on the event that we click the create button, it makes these changes and then it's going to run display create mode method. That's going to run randomized values again, set color and update the emoji. So when we randomize the values, we flip up the indexes and we set the color of each of these, right? The values of each of these sliders. If we go to design mode, you can see them, the values to a random number as given here. Now, then once that's random, set colors is run, set colors, setting the color. Notice on the event that the slider has changed, right? We're going to set the color. So it's going to set those colors. And then finally, we'll update our emojis. And this is where this is all going to come into play. Update emoji. Look, our eyes, mouth, and extras, these image URLs are going to change depending on whatever the index value is set to. And we randomize that index value here. Now, I'll often see students wonder, uh, hey, Mr. I have I index, right? And they'll assign the same random value to all of them. So then they'll be like mouth index equals I index, or they'll just use one of these indexes. That would not be the goal here. You want to randomize each of these. So it's a random index, meaning a random image from the list. So two here, one here, three here is what's showing up here. Eyes, nose, mouth is showing up or uh, the extras is randomized. And these color values are getting randomized on click. Pretty. Cool. We're getting into some complicated stuff. I'm excited to finish out this app though. Onward.